What's up? It's Kyle here from Antioch Graphics Supply. Today I am going to show you the transform panel in this video silhouette tutorial, whatever we're calling it these days. Um, so the transform panels right under the text on the right side looks like three bars with a line through it. And I'm going to show you what all these tools in here do and what they're for and how you can utilize them to help you design better. So we got some menus here, we'll go through these. So the first one here is the line with the three bars in it. You have two types of center. So if you have this item, you have your item clicked and you click the center, it brings it to the center of the mat. Now if you have two items clicked, like I have these two, and you click it, it brings them it brings it to the center, basically like right here is in the center of these two designs, brings it to the center of the mat. So that's what that does. Now this other one next to it, if you just have one item selected and you click it, it's going to bring it to the center of the mat. But if you have two items clicked and you hit that, it stacks them right on top of each other. So if you had two squares and you wanted this thing to be centered in here perfectly, let me color this just so you guys can see. Instead of sitting here and trying to make sure that the distance is all the same, you could highlight both of these and then click that and it will stack it on there perfectly. So it's just a quick easy trick rather than trying to figure out how to get that. Like, oh, it looks close. You can just go in here, one click, boom, right on top, and then you could center it right into your mat. And then you're good to go. <clears throat> Now these tools underneath it, these different sets of lines, what they do is the horizontal one, if you click this align left, well you have these highlighted, align left, it brings it to this left line. Align right, brings it all the way to the right, and then the center. Pretty cut and dry. And then same with the vertical, so if you have these you want it all on the top line, all on the bottom line, and then all in the middle. Now this is super beneficial when you're doing things with words. And I type this out. Uh, it is about two weeks of St. Patrick's Day. That's why I have this written here. Um, so as you can see, if I was going to put this on a shirt, well, first I'd pick a different font, but you get the idea. Uh, I wouldn't want it to be stacked over here. I'd want it, want it all in the center. So these are these are actually grouped in three separate sections. It's not one piece. So they each move independently. Now if I wanted them to stack them in the center, I could just highlight all of them and then hit the horizontal align center and then now it's centered on the shirt and you'd be good to go. And then you could adjust this how you wanted it. Now say while you're moving this stuff around this one got up here and then here now you don't know what the distance is between these two that's where this hor this uh, horizontal and vertical spacing come into play so you know that the happy and the day are exactly where you want it but you want the St. Patrick's to be right in the middle you won't want it to be too high or too low if you highlight all three of these and then click the vertical spacing, it'll split that right in the middle. So then it's perfect. Now if you have this way down here and you highlight it and you click the vertical spacing, it's going to put it in the middle. So whatever objects that you have highlighted, it's going to take the top and the bottom one and split it in the middle. Now same thing if you wanted to use the horizontal you have the happy and the day because you know the banner you're making is you know the happy and the day are going to fit but you you're kind of weird on where to put this you can just highlight all three of these and then hit the horizontal spacing and then you could actually go up here and you could hit the vertical bottom and everything would go here but if you notice this St. Patrick's doesn't have a, a lower, lower uh, 
letter, I guess. I'm sure there's a technical term for this, but I don't know it. So what I would do is I'd actually hit this one, this vertical align middle. And it's still a little off, but... Align top, that's what you want to do. There you go. Now we're right in there. Hey, a little trial and error. No, he's perfect. But you guys get the idea. Um, now this is perfectly spaced here. This is perfectly spaced here. Now if I wanted to do this really quickly, stack it the other way like we just had. Vertical spacing, and then right in the middle, and then size it for the shirt, and you're good to go. It's pretty easy for that. Now to get the exact size that you want, you can just click to this next one over, which is the scale. So now you can scale this thing to whatever you want. 50% of what you had, 200%, 300%. So that's how you handle that. I don't, I won't really mess with these percentages and things like that. I would go with the specific dimensions. Now, as you can see, when I highlight this, it just says 0 0.010, and if I do anything with this, it just goes crazy. So the reason that is, is because these are all independent. So what you want to do is you want to highlight this, right click, and then group. Now once you group that, you can see that this went 8.5 by 5.6. Now I can lock the dimensions, and I can make the width 6 apply and then now we know that the width is six because that's what I want it to be when I put it on a shirt. I want it to be exactly six inches. So now we're good to go. And if you just want to make it taller but not wider, you could unlock this right here and then just change this to four and then that's it and then you're good to go. Or that's not enough, we'll change it to 5, apply, oh. 5, apply. you got to have it uh, highlighted, as you can see I didn't. But then you, you can mess with the dimensions that way, and then now you know when you cut it, it's going to be the exact size you need it for the space that you want. And that, you know, that's exactly what you want to happen. So right next to the scale is the rotate. This is pretty cut and dry. Rotate at 90, rotate at 120, 270, those types of things. So you can also do the custom ones or rotate 45, rotate 90, 180, 90, 45. You can click all the way through and get it to exactly where you wanted it. So if you wanted this to just be on a little 45 degree pitch, there you go, and then you're all set. Let's bring this back straight. All right, then the next one is this panel, which is just to kind of nudge it over. So if you want it, you could set this to one inch, and then when you nudge it, it's going to nudge one inch over. Uh, having a hard time finding a real good reason for this when you could just move it around with your mouse as opposed to nudging it like that. All right, and then you got your move to uh, position on here. This one's kind of tricky. So right here you can, this little box here, you can set these to be in the corner or in the center of the box. And then these dimensions here are actually set to here somehow. So if you wanted this to go to the one one inch box to the one inch box. 
let's see, one, one, apply, and there you go. So this corner right here is in this, is right here to this box. If you wanted it to be centered, you just click this little center spot, and this is the one. See, right now the center is on the four by three, but if you wanted it in that one by one, that's where it is. That's the exact center. There it is. So, not really feeling this uh <laughs> this little tool here, but I guess it's kind of neat if you need to move things to exactly where it is and you don't want to move it yourself, you could use this. So it's basic transform panel. There are additional tools in this in the uh, designer and up editions of the software, and I'll go over some of them later, but I'm trying to knock out all these basic videos first. If you have any questions about the transform panel, let me know. I'd be happy to help. Uh, leave it in the comments. Reach out to me. Have a good one.